children to be straight and strong and good. And I pray here publicly that God give me the strength to not be worldly and to be good and to steady my mind and my focus so that I might be an instrument to raise up the good and bring down the bad. And I pray that others will say that prayer with me because there are no atheists in foxholes and make no mistake, there's a war on for your mind, your body, your soul, your property, and most importantly, your progeny. The system wants their minds, wants their intellects, wants to fashion them, and we just turn our children over to all the toxic food and the TV and the culture and the public schools and the vaccines and all of it. I am trying to really transform myself. And I, that's why I, I, I get into spiritual issues because I cannot contain the fact that that is where I am in my life. I am weak. We're all weak, but we're strong through God. And we've got to ask for that strength. And you're not going to find that strength in one of these establishment churches. You're going to find it in your heart and at 3 a.m. in a personal relationship with the spirit of creation, with the God of the universe, with the creator. You can have whatever names you want. You have a relationship with it. You know it's real. Those that don't have a relationship with it, they do not understand, and that is a great curse to them. And they will never have the deep discernment. They will never have the deep understanding, and that's sad. But some people, you just can't reach. And I'm not here to reach those that can't be reached. I'm here for a lot of reasons, just as we all are. I'm here on my own journey, in my own test. And I'm here to get others to simply wake up out of their trance and make a decision which side they're going to serve. Because God is all about free will. And God knows many people are in a trance, literal sleepwalking trance. Prozac puts you into one. And the entire class of serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The television artificially lowers people into a threshold, right in sleepwalking, scientific fact. Those that watch TV four or five hours a day by 60 have generally have an onset of early Alzheimer's, some even as young as 30. You can look it up. It's TV Alzheimer's. See all the studies for 20 years. They've known well about it. Because you're not supposed to spend your time in a sleepwalking phase. You're supposed to sleep your seven, eight hours, and that's it. You're not supposed to be sleeping another five, six hours a day. And there's other things at work. The video games are brain damaging people. If you don't believe me, just look it up. And it's all done by design. I'm only here to get you to look around you and make a decision. No one can make you face reality. No one can make you take the red pill. I'm just here to offer it. You take the blue pill, you go back to the establishment world. You take the red pill, you can start going down the rabbit hole. We'll be right back with the news. Stay with us. Here are some of the headlines at Infowars.com. Already mentioned Newt Gingrich, Mr. New World Order by Paul Joseph Watson and Alex Jones. Here's another one. Government is the reason we don't have a constitution anymore. Excellent uh, blurb by Kurt Nemo. Also, Al-Qaeda terrorist airlifted from Libya to aid Syrian opposition. That is publicly admitted. Remember the video on BBC of the Al-Qaeda forces, literal Al-Qaeda, with the big sign saying, Syria, here we come? And they'll blow that country to kingdom come and murder people in mass, and it'll be hailed by our sickening, degenerate system that is so wicked. They have Al-Qaeda working for them publicly while saying they have TSA pedophiles sticking their hands down our pants to keep us safe from Al-Qaeda. And they get the shoe bomber on the plane and the Christmas bomber and... Every other one, I mean, it's just totally staged. On record, they ship the opium in, public criminal government, just in your face. Wow. 
Also, the Financial Times of London is saying the Eurozone has 10 days left at most if you don't give the bankers total power. And then you'll give them tens of trillions more and a takeover. And, oh, that'll be collapsing and making America collapse. So they'll have to merge and have a global restructuring OECD bank. How many times have I told you this? I saw a video this weekend of Nigel Farage. we got to get back on. Member of the uh, EU Parliament out of England. And he, it showed him going back years ago, predicting how they would stage the crisis, how they would do it. And then it showed the new video clips. In fact, I want to get that and, and kind of re-edit it together to be shorter and play it on the nightly news tonight or tomorrow. But uh, there's just some of the news on that front. But then look at all this other news. Finally, people are starting to get it. You know, we had this article out a few days ago. Senate moves to allow military to intern Americans without trial. NDAA detention provision would turn Americans into battlefield. Turn the whole country into a battlefield. Now, it says, don't worry, though. Only if you're fighting against the U.S. government or other designation will you be secretly arrested and taken to a camp. And citizens are exempt until you read the other provision that says, unless the military prescribes because you're fighting. And people try to spin it and say, it doesn't say that. Ron Paul's wrong. Alex Jones is wrong. The ACLU is wrong. All these groups have come out and said that's what it says. I know how to read. Okay. And then they try to spin it and say, they don't do that. Oh, really? They only kill American citizens if they choose without a trial or arrest now. People say, well, why don't they want the intelligence? Come on, folks. They didn't really kill Anwar al Awlaki. They just set the precedent. I predicted he'd be killed when it came out. He was secretly hanging out at the Pentagon. He's no good to run al-Qaeda anymore once that came out. to The lower-level jihadis that actually think they're fighting the great Satan and not working for it. America's not the great Satan, but the global bankers that run this country and run Al-Qaeda are. Get it through your heads, police and military and others. It's called full-spectrum dominance. Just research any intelligence operation. Research any modern war in the last 300 years. The bankers fund all sides, sometimes four or five factions. They always win. They've taken it one step further. They actually go out and create the opposition and have publications to even create their own hatred. Then they come over here and manipulate us, and it's all public, and I'm not playing along just because it's fun to hate men with beards and turbans on their heads. If you rednecks actually went over and actually hung out with those people in Afghanistan, you'd like them. I've talked to the soldiers that are over there. They're more redneck, more backwoods, more hillbilly than you could ever imagine. They like guns more than your granddaddy did. Shut up and stop being stupid. Stop being idiots. Stop being morons. They're building us up to have a war with these people so the globalists can destroy both sides. I'm not going along with it. But finally, even Alternet, the big liberal system, can't believe their Lord Obama. I remember when Alternet and others criticized me for saying they wanted to use troops on the streets of America years ago. But, oh, goody, goody, gun drops. How could this happen in America? Why are police treating Americans like military threats? By William Hoagland. And then it goes on to talk about the militaries involved and homeland securities taking over. Why, that's not constitutional. Why, our precious federal government, it's not supposed to take over the states. Uh, oh, oh, what's happening here? I thought you were my friend. I, I thought you loved me, government. And so you got Ron Paul, libertarians waking up. You got the ACLU screaming bloody murder. You got the liberals freaking out. You got conservatives starting to wake up. Good. Good. Because we're all under attack, whether you're in the military, a cop, a school teacher, a conservative, a liberal, an atheist, an agnostic, a Christian, a Muslim, a Jew, whatever you are, this new world order jacks with your food and water and plays scientific, mad scientists with you and your family. And I've shown you all the documents, the sterilants and the vaccines, the water, the food, they're not, no, none of you are on the winning team. Got that? You have to join the people. We're on the march. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back live. Thank you so much for joining us today. General Hamid Ghul was scheduled to be on right now, but the country is obviously in a total uproar. He's not back in traffic yet. It's like 1030 at night, Pakistan time. Uh, so he'll either be on later in the broadcast uh, or tomorrow, but with obviously... 
uh, former head of Pakistani intelligence, a key person to get on. Uh, we're going to be working on that. Peter Schiff is scheduled in about uh, 45 minutes from now. Gerald Salente is popping in as well, obviously on all the big global developments and an update on MF Global. I want to open the phones up right now, and I want to do what I did last week and again last night to a certain extent. I say 30 seconds. I end up giving you about a minute or so or two minutes because you say such great points, but <laughs> it's, it's always hard. 30 seconds, maximum 45 1-800-259-9231, 800-259-9231, and one little caveat, if you hadn't called in a long time or you're a first-time caller, and then later I'll let folks call in, call in who try to get in all the time, I just want you know, people who never can get in to get in, 800-259-9231, and we'll get you up and on the air. By the way, we can guarantee delivery if you order by the 19th of December, uh, and your purchase of books, videos, T-shirts supports my broadcast. Uh, if you look over here on the table, if you're watching on PrisonPlanet.tv, if not, you can go to InfoWars.com. Uh, you can see uh, the 18 film special, all 18 of my documentaries, bumper stickers, audio CD on top of it, and a citizen rule book, $99.95. We have never offered anything approaching this. The everything special is normally $360. This is $260 off. We have a We the People Ideas are Bulletproof Constitution shirt that's very popular. That's available. And we have uh, two new films that are available. And I want to get these scientists on. This is not even available in the U.S. We are the first outfit. This has been out about six months to sell this in the U.S. We had to buy this from Germany, but it's an English film. Scientists under attack, genetic engineering in the magnetic field of money, a film about courage, secrecy, and danger. And it's a German director. Uh, it also has a bonus film on it, Monster Salmon, that they admit will extinct regular salmon within 40 generations of the simulations they've done. They, of course, cloned it and spliced it with other animals and other plants and insects, depending on the variant. This is an incredible documentary. Incredible and it's available at InfoWars.com, Scientist Under Attack, Genetic Engineering in the Magnetic Field of Money. Incredible how they've tried to shut things down. And then, you want to know what goes on at Guantanamo Bay and how they literally manufacture uh, terrorists out of the group to be triple agents and how they uh, torture these people. Outside the law, stories from Guantanamo, how they beta tested this for the rest of the American people. A film by Polly Nash and Andy Worthington. Another very powerful film available at InfoWars.com. And again, we're the only ones I know of carrying this. Some people have bought it from us and are selling it. But we like to bring you exclusive things that, well, we sell whatever I watch and think is powerful. Or whatever I read and think is powerful. So, or whatever you recommend, them, in many cases, I then watch and uh, carry if I agree with it. So, 888-253-3139, uh, 888-253-3139. Or you can go to InfoWars.com for the online uh, video bookstore, uh, films, t-shirts, you name it. Also, I don't know how long I'm going to do this because we've had to hire a couple more people and it's become...